Okay, 11 and 12. So let's look at this question 7. And this is theorem 2. Okay, question 7, 7.1. They say, in the diagram below, D is the center of cycle ABC with radius BD produced to O. In the diagram, D is a center. Now we have D. D is a center of cycle A, B, C. And they say B, D is a radius. We know radius. Produced to O. What is produced to O? Radius. BD is produced. Produced also means extended. Extended to O. Here is O. Okay. Now, they say, use the diagram to prove the theorem that says, O oh, that states A angle D C equal to 2 times A angle B C, and this is 5 marks, always. The first thing that you do, you join B, D, and extend it to O, all the time. That's your first step. Join B, D. And produced to O. Because we have O here. They can put any alphabet. Let's see what we get. Join BD and produced to O. Let's join BD and produced to O. So, pay attention. What happened here? Angle B is split into two parts. So, we have angle B1 and angle B2 now. Now, look what happens at the center. Angle D is split into two parts. Now, we have angle D1 and we have angle D2. And I want you to pay attention here. BD is a radius. DA is a radius. BD is a radius. DC is a radius. And what we know about radius? Radius is the line from the center to a circumference. What we know about it is equal at any point at the circumference. Now, number two. We have created two triangles. We have triangle D, B1, A. And triangle D, B2, C. Let's take this fact. What we know, we know that this is a radius. And we know this is a radius. And we know they are equal. We can say, okay, hey, we see this B, D is equal to A, D, Y, Radi. Now, why are we stating this fact? It's because we want to tell them that we know if a triangle has two equal sides, we know we know that base angles are equal, or angles opposite those equal sides are also equal, which means angle B1 
is equal to angle A. Why? These are angles which are opposite, opposite what? Opposite equal sides. Now, after stating this fact, we are going for external angle. If you look at this triangle, triangle DBA, you will see that D1 is an external angle. Why? Remember, BD is extended to O. Angle D1 is equal to angle B1 plus angle A. Why? This is what? An external angle of triangle D B A And we know that A is equal to B1. So, which means we can replace A with B1. So, we have angle D1 is equal to angle B1 plus angle B1 here. And if we simplify this so, which means angle D1 is equal to 2 angle B1. We had to do the same even in this triangle. But now we are not going to do it. What you do next, you say, hey, similarly. In triangle D, B, C, you will get the same thing that D2 is equal to 2 times angle B2. So what you do next, you add D1 and D2. Therefore, angle D1 plus angle D2 equals. Now we know D1. D1 is 2 times angle 1. Plus we know D2 is 2 times angle B. Two. Now, what is common here is 2. So, we take this 2 out, then we are left with B1, angle B1, and angle B2. Okay? Now, then what next here is that we know we know D1, we know that D1 and D2 will give us angle D. Two times, now we know that B1 and B, angle B1 and angle B2 will give us angle B. So, which means we have proved the theorem, but we have to write it according, I mean, we have to write it in this version. In this version, they said, Okay, from A to D, C. This is angle D. Prove, say, therefore, therefore, this is equal to 2 times A, B, C. Now, we have proved this theorem. 5 marks.